guys jesus welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm becky i bring you awesome fun and timely content on all my platforms so make sure you like you comment you share and you definitely subscribe welcome to a new vloggy vlog yeah that's that's just it i'm excited i'm super pumped that all of you guys are here I don't take it for granted that you watch, you like, you comment, you share. And even for those outside the farm, what are you waiting for? Just click that red subscribe button. And if you want to get a notification every time I upload any kind of video, the bell next to the subscribe button, turn that on and click all so that you're notified any time I upload anything on this app. So yeah, today uh, I'm home. I've just closed off another vlog. It never stops. This hustle never stops. And I am in the kitchen. If you can't tell, I am getting ready to cook. I want to make a few things. I want to make some biryani. I wanted to show you guys this lip gloss. It was gifted to me. And guys, this girl is moisturizing. Unfortunately, it has no name. It has no brand on it. But this girl, I'll try and check online if I can get it and link it below. For the longest time, I have been struggling with like dry lips. This has me sorted. Even when I don't take as much water, I cannot remember the last time my lips were chipped or were dry. This one is very, very moisturizing. Anywho let's get straight into that i know i want to make a few breakfast things because next week is going to be here soon and i don't want to be stressing anyway let's let's get into it enjoy this vlog by the way enjoy this vlog yeah let's go <music> again because i still get a few questions about it biryani so you need natural mala or natural yogurt natural not sweetened so that goes in last first i go in with my garlic and ginger i'm going to grate this in hmm. this nail is 
this manicure business and you want to grate things into food. That's fine. So, grate this in here. If you don't like uh, garlic and ginger, please don't add it. It's not a requirement. And then my ginger. As little or as much as you like. Like so. I'm using the chicken, uh, every part of the chicken minus the breast because the breast I am using for strips. For to tear up, so yeah. For my spices, I'm going in with ginger powder, and my spices are running low. Garam masala, if there's any left, okay, there's some left, just a bit. This paprika should be empty. Bin, and this is um. What is the name of this thing? Curry powder. <laughs> Go in heavy with that. And then we need some turmeric. Turmeric is what gives it the color. So turmeric, just a little. If you know anything about turmeric, you know a little goes a long way. So some turmeric and some black pepper so for the spices you add what you like or what you have in your pantry and remember that you will replicate the spices you marinate with when you're cooking so and then my mala so as little or as much And then you mix the sparkle up. Oh, I had missed the yarn. Mix it up well. Some people like to use their hands, but then now turmeric stains. So maybe use your hands and then add turmeric last and use a spoon or a spatula. But just know. Turmeric will stain your prop. So be careful with it. And that is it. So I will let this marinate for 30 to an hour and then we will cook it. So, a while back, I just like a week ago, I made my normal. <laughs> watermelon pineapple beetroot juice oh much is there <laughs> so i want to have some as i cook this is so yum i did a bit of ginger and turmeric so it's so healthy mm. nice nice so i want to marinate the the strips, the chicken strips, <sighs> because my dear, I know I want to cook them today.
guys one week later got this cake on sunday from here for my birthday this is what is remaining so i want to transfer this to another place because it's just filling my fridge but it was nice yeah nice not groundbreaking but nice all right so yeah so done with marinating my chicken for biryani and for strips now i want to make my cinnamon rolls so this recipe i've gotten from my sister maggie so i'm not going to share it because she has not given me the permission to share by the way if you don't know my sister has studied all these culinary things so she it might as well be hers so i i'm not going to share that but it's for cinnamon rolls i want to make cinnamon rolls and i want to make chapati those two things so yeah that's just it let me do that let me make the dough for the cinnamon rolls because i'm not sharing and then we will continue but yeah let's do that <laughs>
believe it or not, I have not started actually cooking anything, but I want to have lunch. I'm having this pasta. This is um, pili pili, pili pili akukanga. So I'm going to add this here, and then I'm going to have that as lunch. Also, just to uh, shout out someone I like, I am currently watching Adrian. She's called Adrian MG on YouTube. I love this girl. I would love to vlog like her. Adrian vlogs a lot. A lot. She will post a vlog every week, every three days, like an hour vlog. She vlogs anytime and every time. And she still has her life. Like, it's the craziest thing. So, I, I really look up to her. So, I watch her a lot. Anyway, I was just shouting out, in case you are a fan of long vlogs and continuation vlogs that feels like, oh, last week we did this. This week we are doing this. On Monday we did this. That, Adrian perfect before i forget i have just sliced my nail guys what kind of nonsense does this thing think is going to do for me today can you guys see it literally right there i bow when it will now not focus it pain me but it's fine it's okay so let me eat and then we will get to the cooking
Hi guys, so here I was making my beef stew. The biryani is so easy to make. You just do your onion, nyanya, the biryani marinated chicken, and that's it. Let it cook. I also add a bit of butter just for flavor. And then this is me making my beef stew, just the basic beef stew with potatoes and carrots so here i was just chopping them up guys i own a chopping board do not be fooled but you see the way i was cutting that is how i like to cut my veggies but then with these nails everything has become so complicated and right there i went ahead to chop my nail i chopped a second one so i don't know if you should take this advice but just cut it with your hands don't don't use the chopping board you're gonna chop yourself anyway here i was checking that my biryani is well cooked so i just let my meat cook a bit and then i added my potatoes and carrots and dania and that was it <laughs> i was done Hi guys, so I want to make my cinnamon rolls 
and of course you need cinnamon and sugar so this will make my cinnamon sugar but for now my flour has been sitting for an hour plus so i put it in the oven to just sit and do its thing and i want to roll it out and then divide it appropriately so let's do that i hope they turn out nice this is my first time trying cinnamon rolls i have never done it before so i am praying and hoping that they turn out nice so yeah let's do this <laughs>
hi guys so my stew is done biryani is done this is rice i'll be having for dinner later but then these are the cinnamon rollies how cute guys the work i have put into this i'm praying and hoping they turn out yum so i just want to put them in the oven right now they look so cute they're so pretty i've done such a good job for it being my first day so let's put this in the oven and see how it goes hey guys so i thought i would share this technique i do for my chapati in case you're looking for layered chapo this works so i just roll out the dough as i did for the cinnamon rolls apply your oil slather i use a lot of oil for this process because it allows the layers to form and then roll them out as i am doing and that's it literally when they are into these circles when you're rolling it out you will just press it down and then roll into your desired shape like so that i've just pressed it down roll into your desired shape and put on your pan something else i have realized works is covering the dough with a cloth but by this point my kitchen was so warm i was not worried about my dough drying out so if you can just cover them allow them to be in a warm place i personally don't care much about the shape of my chapati chamuhimu ni chapati of importance is people have eaten chapa fm okay yes so if you're beginning don't be too finicky about the shape because then you will never learn you will keep feeling like you're not doing it well enough so just do it and you'll get a hang of it later okay that is revelation for somebody okay here i was waiting for my pan to heat up when your pan is hot enough just put them on the pan something else that i do with my chapati is i cook them first and then i oil them do you get you see you see it's cooking on the bottom side i will turn it i will cook all of them like this and then now i will come and oil all of them together when i'm doing it alone this saves me so much time and energy i don't have to spend an hour making it i literally used 30 minutes tops to cook this on the pan it was that quick so i just cook them and oil them at the end so i really really liked making chapati over the years i've become faster of course when you do something for long you get better at it so over the years i've become a bit faster i've learned a few things that make my work easier like using warm water with milk 
it just makes the chapels softer so do what works for you i've just shared what works for more so yeah really loved this i really really love cooking it's it's something I have to do if I'm at home. Trust that I am going to cook. I just love it. It relaxes my mind. I end up being so tired, but that does not change the fact that I like it. So, yeah. Hey guys, it's many hours later and I have finished. Yes, I have finished and I'm exhausted as you can see, but I'm so happy. Exhausted but happy. So I have managed to make my chapos. They are in here in this basin. I'll transfer them later. I'm letting them cool off. And then I have let me bring you guys a bit closer i have made biryani we have already eaten that and yummy beef stew and here i have made my chicken strips for tortilla wraps and now i want to show you something so let me put you guys here the one thing out of today's um cooking day that I feel has not come out as nice is my cinnamon rolls. They don't look outrageous but they are not as soft. I left them in for too long but we will still have them. That is the danger. In fact, let me microwave one and see what happens. I think and feel like the microwave will give them the softness I want but they are not bad. They are not disgusting. They are really yummy. But now I know that I need to set a timer. In fact, I forgot about them. I put them in. I didn't set a timer. And then I just could feel the smell of something. Then I was like, oh my goodness. Then I switched it off. And that was it. So I think I'll just work on my timing. Oopsie daisy. But that's okay. I'm not complaining. I am exhausted. So thank you guys for chilling with me on this meal prep. Kind of video i hope you guys enjoyed it and subscribe like comment share share recipes and meal plans that you'd love for me to try i would not mind because i love cooking and i'll definitely see you guys on my next video bye guys